Welcome back everyone, I'm Lachlan McLaren and in this video I'll be taking you through what my training week looks like with eight weeks to go before the Hell of the West in Gundawindi 2024. So this video I'm going to walk you through every single one of my training sessions this week. So it'll be what I'm doing, I'll take you with me with those during those sessions and uh, I'll also explain the rationale behind each one of those sessions and you'll also be able to see how well I perform during those sessions and if I could do what I have intended for the week. Um, so currently today, it's a Monday. Monday is my uh, rest day, my recovery day. Uh, usually after a longer weekend of sessions, long bikes and long runs, Monday is my recoup day. Uh, not to say that I don't do anything on a Monday. I have what I call my technique swims. So usually relatively low intensity focusing on technique. I'll go into these swims with something in mind and, and something to work on. So we're about to head to the pool now. It's 1.45 on a Monday. So let's get to the pool. It is now Tuesday, um, I, as you can tell, I'm getting ready for a bike ride. So on the cards for today, I've just got an easy aerobic ride, zone two, whatever you want to call it, nothing too crazy. Uh, got about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm just gonna go out on the road bike, go for a spin around the cane paddocks, um, have a look at the beach and then spin back. So. Let's jump on the bike. To Yorkie's Knob on the beach at the moment um, because we are in Cairns it is 32 but with humidity it feels like 38 or nearly 40 absolutely dripping in sweat I've only been out for half an hour but that's just the way life is up in the tropics um, time to take a minute catch your breath turn around and head back home. So it is actually uh, quite late in the day now, Tuesday evening. Um, I was supposed to go on a interval run. I was gonna do uh, four by four minutes, I think it was, um, going pretty hard. So just over threshold pace, which is pretty tough, but I've got a bit of a not a niggle, but a sore calf at the moment. So I'm just keeping an eye on that. Um, so I won't be doing the run today. I might do it later on in the week if I'm feeling a bit better. But a very recent upgrade <laughs> that I've got is, if you can see over my shoulder here, I've just got some weights and I'm trying to incorporate weight training more into my programming. So this evening I'll be doing a weight session, uh, about 45 minutes. Um, so we'll get into that now. head to the pool, get a couple of Ks in, nothing too crazy, it's just gonna be another aerobic set in the water. And we're gonna jump in the pool now. So it 
is now about 5.30 on a Wednesday afternoon. Um, after the swim, I just chilled out really, ate some food, kind of regathered, and now I've just jumped on the trainer indoors. Um, the session, very simple. It's just a aerobic ride. 10 minute warm up, uh, 45 minutes, 200 watts, and then five minutes cooling down. Really not much to report. Um, doing it indoors, I just find indoors a lot more convenient. And if it's really hot and miserable outside, I can put the air con on <laughs> behind me and stay cool on the hot days. This is just another one of those sessions just to get the aerobic miles in. Um, yeah, nothing too super interesting. Just an hour on the train, I'm ticking off the hours. So it is now Thursday morning, about 11 o'clock. Um, as you can tell, I've just jumped on the bike indoors. This is my interval session, my tough ride for the week. Um, got VO2 max intervals, so I'll swing you around. Doing it indoors on Zwift. 20 minutes warming up. I got six minutes at 285. Uh, six times two minutes at 285. One minute at 160, and then 10 minutes cool down. So not a super long session, but one that'll kind of push me pretty hard. So I'm gonna get into it now, and I'll check in with you guys about halfway through the intervals. We'll see how we go on then. Alrighty, just about to start the fourth, and you're gonna be able to struggle through this one with me. It's just getting hot. Trying to keep up with my breath. Keeping in mind I'm doing all my intervals in a TT position. So let's dive into this last one. Won't be talking much, but here we go. Just picked up. So, 285 at my approximate 80 kilos, about 3.6 watts per kilo, which for some reason Zwift loves watts per kilo. Um, but, it just is what it is. I'm just trying to get that number to as big as I possibly can so that I can be holding for these intervals. Halfway there, a minute done. Heart rate 146, 147. Hopefully, it doesn't go too much higher than that. But the data shows it just keeps going up throughout the interval, which I guess that means there must be a physiological response that I'm happy with. Uh, cadence. Drifts to a bit, just a bit over a hundred. So, trying to keep an eye on it. Keep it between 90 and 100, which is probably a bit high, admittedly, but it's so much more muscular, like muscularly difficult if it's under 90. Coming in here, last five seconds. Three, one. That's rep four. Done. As you can see, now drenched in sweat. <laughs> but I could talk most of the way through that. Obviously I'm huffing and puffing. So it's hard, but it's not the end of the world. Two more of them. Easy cool down and then it's my bike for the day. So it's seven o'clock on Thursday. Just got back from a quick 20 minute run to finish off my day and I get to finish off the day in the pool. I um, 
left the run as late as possible to try and avoid the heat, but you can't run away from it really here. <clears throat> so 20 minutes, absolutely dripping in sweat <laughs> with a shirt that just turned into a towel, just sopping up my sweat, but wasn't too long, wasn't too bad. It was just a slow aerobic run, nothing crazy. So it's me for the night and I'll see you tomorrow. So, <clears throat> believe it or not, it's actually Saturday today. Um, yesterday was a bit up and down. I um, went to go to do my interval run that I was planning on doing on Monday. Um, and I drove around to the local tracks or the local sports field that I was going to use it as, as a track. Um, and they've recently built fences around them, which I hadn't been to them in a while to be fair, but they built fences around them. So I didn't actually, <laughs> well, I couldn't get into the sports fields to do my run, which was a bit frustrating. And then I also had first day at a new job, which I, I was just on my mind. So I didn't want to push anything in training. So I didn't actually end up doing any training yesterday. Just went to work, started the job, um, got home and then realized it was best to just take the pressure off. Um, yeah, I mean, it just happens. Life gets in the way of training. Um, I was beating myself up about, a bit, about it a bit yesterday, but I figured this morning it is what it is. Good to have a day just to relax, take the pressure off. And then now today, gonna get back into training um, so now with not doing anything yesterday, uh, I'm going to head to the pool, go for a swim, uh, hopefully get about two and a half Ks in and then come home, fuel up again. And then I'll go for a big ride on the trainer, uh, just to be able to lock in and put some watts down for a few hours. So let's head to the pool. Welcome back. It is Saturday afternoon. You've joined me halfway through my big trainer ride of the week. I uh, didn't actually get any film at the uh, pool because there was like kids' birthdays, par birthday parties, and things like that. I didn't really want to bring the camera out around all that, so just did my set, came home. Um, I've been on the trainer for a while now, so on a three-hour ride. And I'm about hour 25 into it. Uh, session is 20 minutes warm up, an hour at 200 watts, half an hour at 150 here, another hour at 200, and then 10 minutes cooling down. Um, again, kind of not a whole lot to talk about. It's a session ride, <laughs> uh, trainer ride, there's no beautiful scenery or anything like that just putting the head head down and getting the work done so yeah I'll tick this one off and I'll see you tomorrow so checking in on Sunday morning <coughs> um, got my long long run today it's 7 30 and the Sun's already beaming and it's quite warm so I've got a little setup here at the front door for my hydration there ready and waiting. I've got a 5k loop around the suburb that I'll do, do a 5k, come back, grab a drink, drop the heart rate and then go out again. I'll probably do three loops, um, an hour and a half running um, after a little warm up here and then yeah we'll jump straight into it. This is me just getting back from the first 5k, half an hour in, 31 minutes in, and this is how drenched in sweat already am. Half an hour and I'm cooked or <laughs> like heating up, so not running fast in any sense of the word, just um, keeping the RPE to what I'm looking for, not worrying about pace, 
it's only going to get hotter and harder so just aiming for time on the feet for this run so we've got another hour to go second lap done an hour and two minutes in pretty much held the same pace not that I was worried about it or anything I thought I was going a bit slower but tick that off absolutely drenched like it's hot <laughs> um, take a couple of minutes here and I'll get some fluids in go back out there the last one I might only do about 4k for so see how that one goes this is me just finishing up now Gee whiz. it's pretty warm eh? ended at hour 25 uh, 13.75k um, got pretty low and slow at the end there particularly in the warm down but just as a representation of how hot it is it's absolutely drenched so that's the run I'm gonna jump in the pool now cool off and then get some food into me alrighty so now I've got all the sessions done I'm just gonna run you through all the totals and how I thought the week went in general and kind of how this week relates to what I've done previously and what I'm looking to do in the future. So this week, as you saw, I actually missed a whole day, which is pretty rare. I'll usually do something every day. Um, so that Friday that nothing happened, it kind of meant that this week turned into uh, more of a, a deloading week, if you want to say so. Um, I'll run through the totals and then I'll talk you through why that deload week probably happened and why I felt that it wasn't the worst thing to miss that Friday, um, those sessions. So I'll throw up the totals on the screen here as well. Um, total duration, uh, I did 10 hours and 19 minutes of work overall. Uh, two hours of that was swimming, two hours and one minute. Uh, I did five hours and 54 minutes on the bike and an hour and 46 minutes running plus 37 minutes of strength training. And as this week relates with my other weeks and why I came to the conclusion that it wasn't the worst thing to kind of drop the load, the total load of this week down a little bit was uh, as you can see in my training annual training plan that I'm showing here, uh, the last few weeks were quite big and this is the first time I've actually done 10 hours a week averaging over 10 hours a week for a month straight I'm still relatively new to the sport um, so after three back to back to back 11 hour weeks uh, this training week dropped off a little bit this was only just over 10 um, which is still a decent amount of training but I didn't have it planned to be my deload week, it kind of just happened, um, which I'm fine with and have come to realize it's probably good to have this week as the deload week, kind of take the pressure off and then I'm starting to build onto the next week now. Thanks guys for following along. Uh, if you have any questions about my training, about triathlon in general, please throw them down below. and. If you have any ideas of anything that you want to see in the future, just let me know either down below or jump across to my Instagram, which is linked below and shoot me a message and I'll jump onto that. Thanks for following along. See you on the next one.